Governor Pritzker and other governors across the country are calling on pharmacies to clarify their stance on distributing an abortion pill. This comes after Walgreens decided not to dispense misoprestone in 20 states where attorneys general have warned they could face legal consequences if they do. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris is live in our Capitol newsroom. Theodora, will we see these in pharmacies in central Illinois? Well, Marley, Governor Pritzker says Walgreens plans to sell Mifepristone in Illinois. Regardless, he, along with the others who signed on to the letter, want to know what other pharmaceutical companies will do. Walgreens decided it will not sell Mifepristone in states where the attorneys general told them they could face legal trouble if they do. That's because they say it would violate their state's abortion laws. Now, Governor Pritzker and 13 other governors want to know if companies like CVS and Walmart will follow suit. I suspect that they all intend to do what one pharmacy has done. Uh, and I think that's not a good outcome, and I think they need to rethink that. The FDA approved the use of mifepristone over 20 years ago, but only specific clinics and offices have been allowed to dispense the medication. A decision the FDA made earlier this year would allow pharmacies to start selling the drug, but they would have to be certified first. It is the choice of half of the people who get abortions. And to take away that option will impede people's ability to access the care that they need and also get the type of care that may be best for them given their circumstances. Bridget Leahy is the vice president of public policy for Planned Parenthood Illinois Action. She says they applaud Pritzker and the other governors for sending the letter. They also share those governors' concerns. We want to know whether or not these major chains that people rely on uh, are going to be doing that and that they will not cave to political pressure to not do it even though legally they can do it and people in their community need them to do this. Anti-abortion groups like We Dignify hope other pharmaceutical companies follow Walgreens' decision. Our organization would love to see more pharmacies go that direction of Walgreens and not prescribing, not passing out pharmaceuticals that are dangerous to women's health. Um, and then also seeing more of a cultural shift and law shift to protect preborn children and support mothers. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists say mifepristone is safe and effective. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you. The drug is also facing other legal challenges. A Texas ju judge is set to decide a case brought by an anti-abortion group. They want the FDA to reserve their decision of approving the use of mifeprestone. They want it completely taken off the market.